we talk a little bit about you know the bare face like the undone done look mm-hmm. and you do it so well so while we have while we have you here because you know if you're out or you're mm-hmm. on a date or whatever you want to feel like you look good without putting so much effort into it Mm -hmm. and you're really good about that will you explain like a five minute face a five minute yeah so since we're like on the topic of like how to look better than bear how to look better than bear yeah like you know i guess like the hookup five minute face is you want to be fresh you know you you want them to imagine that they can like touch your skin touch your skin and you're touchable and kissable and like you're not going to be like one of those like <gasps> I'm freezing up, don't touch my glam kind of person. I mean, it's fine if you're like that once in a while, but like when you're just going out with somebody or you're still in like that flirty fun phase, you want to like be hot but like in a way where like I wake up like this even if it's a lie. <laughs> even Dude, if I it's all was, a lie. I was getting ready for a date with Stewart. He'd come to New York <laughs> for the first time and I was like I was so stressing on what I wore like this I think I still have it. This J. Crew V neck, <laughs> just like a V neck, white t shirt. I had jeans on. My my hair wasn't done, but it mm-hmm. wasn't. It was just was like it was great. It was kind of like a tousled. Mm-hmm. Then I did like a stain. I did that Clinique, kind of like that the berry, black honey. the black honey. See, when you first met him, you kind of stopped wearing makeup. I know. Even when you were going out, you were like mascara. Yeah. You would put like a bomb on your eyelid. Yeah. And I that still was, do that. That and was your, your yeah. eyeshadow. Yeah. And and you would keep everything like to a bare minimum. I don't even think you used to wear like blush or no, brow stuff. That, sometimes that I, do, I don't want them to think like they're dating not me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't right. like I look like this. I don't look like that, even though. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. So I, this is a good topic because I think now people think they're supposed to walk around like a perfect Instagram filter. But I think, you know, if I go back in the day, we only used to do stuff like that when we had an event. Or, totally. Or like you would get somebody ready for a shoot for Models fun. Models didn't even really wear. I no. mean, we didn't even really wear makeup. I mean, a little bit like a yeah. mascara. What you do? Mascara, a little gloss, a little. You were real. We were real. You couldn't even show up to a, a go see with makeup on. No. They wouldn't hire. They'd be no. like, who, who does she think she is? She came here with mascara. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she needs to be a blank canvas. Oh, no. Well, us. men want real. I mean, there was an episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Remember when when Will Smith Shh. got stuck in the basement with his prom date, and oh, after a few hours, <laughs> do you remember this episode? Do you oh, remember? My God. Like and, yesterday, and, and literally, literally, he's like in, in and as as the <laughs> evening progresses, and they're trapped. Her nails come off, oh, her lashes God. come off, her <laughs> weave comes out, and he just That's- is looking at her and is like. Who are you? Is anything even real? That's and that was so ahead of the time. That's a 20 that year reference. the most reference. perfect reference of all time. <laughs> all time. How do you even remember that? That's so good. You literally took me back. Like I could see her in her dress. In the, in the laundry room take, in the basement. And then She's her like, personality started changing as the stuff co- like, started coming up. I think that's real. I think that, that still is, exists. So you just don't want to be up. like I know. In- insecure about no. Those kind of things, because, you know, if you're really yourself, you're going to attract somebody that likes you mm-hmm. and knows your sees your beauty for what it is. And men can see it and women can see it. I can see when women aren't confident. You can just it's like washes all over them. And it's it's not sexy. It's not no. it's not pretty. Like, I think some of my most insecure moments were the ones when I was like really, really dressed up, like really like. I, I can yeah. relate. I went through a whole phase of my life where, like, the more glammed I looked, the more miserable I was. I and I was like, I'm just going to, like, get ready so everyone's focused on why am I wearing this crazy look <laughs> instead of asking me what's wrong with me. I Is know. that what you went through, too? A little bit. I mean, I made you do a ponytail for... Oh, I can't <laughs> with the ponytail. You were pregnant, though, so, of course, I... I literally <laughs> just wanted did, you to be comfortable. Now. Yeah, I did not feel good about myself. I it was with Brooks. I literally wore a, I wore a ponytail for like eighteen months. <laughs> yeah, I did. that was hard on you. It was hard. It was a hard. Phase. My face was swelling. My feet were swelling. My belly, like everything, and then after the baby, like I literally <laughs> would tell Joey, he was like, "Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do something new. We're not. We're gonna." No, do a girl, we didn't do anything new until you had your third baby and you were ready to cut your hair off <laughs> Yeah, I remember from that. that day. Yeah, that was when I was like, oh, OK, ooh, this is going to get good. <laughs> She's finally opening up and letting go. And it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's hard a to journey. Lose. It's a journey. But yeah. I, I, I will say, like, I did not feel good about myself at that moment, nor through that time, just because I, I mm-hmm. felt 
I just felt not in my body. Something was wrong with me. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with anybody. Like, I feel like um, like hair and makeup has taken its own, like, it's on another level. And I think, you know, I don't know. I think I like talking about this because I just want to remind people that them as themselves is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, like, we're all different for a reason. And there's, like, purpose in why you look the way you do and there's history in why you look the way you do and those stories and those things like they're all inside of you and they're all beautiful and you shouldn't have to want to cover them up and whatever is making you feel like you need to cover them up is what you kind of need to explore and and work on and it's it's really an internal journey um you know once you start doing the work and it's it's there's a lot of healing that needs to happen and i think instead of focusing on our feelings because it's so taboo to focus on our feelings and especially like for men too it's like if you have feelings like you're you're soft or you're weak i think even in the gay community it's like you know uh you're not masculine enough you're not this and you're not that listen we're not ever going to be anything you think we're going to be or whatever the world's telling us that we need to be we're mm-hmm. gonna we have to be ourselves because authenticity is everything is Mm -hmm. the key to the life of your dreams authenticity is the key to the life of your dreams i agree amen to that amen